got a toehold and trying to hold it here. Swing around it. I'm seeing a few uh, what look like cup coral fragments, rubble. Uh, they're dead, of course, on the rock. Lobster condominium here. They don't look at like any of the others we've seen, though. These could be a completely different genus. Video standing yeah, by if you want me to adjust. Maybe we'll get a chance to see one alive. We can try to lower uh, bring a starboard in. So I'm just seeing the fin on this Cuskio really have a rough appearance, um, as if they've been damaged by something. And I'm still, I'm seeing a number of these white dots, of maybe some sort of parasite, um, but too small to really get a definite idea on. But there is what looks like Not a mathid parasite at the top zoom? of the head. I'm all the way. Okay. Sort of attached. I'm looking up into the really clip here. Really delicately. This is Bruce here. Here. Not, so I can't get much closer. I'm going to totally revise everything I just said about this fish. How did I get a close look no, at it? Uh, you can barely okay. make out the lateral line on this. This junk that starts off higher on the body goes back yeah, to a the anus and then stops. And then the okay, lateral okay, line picks yeah. up again on the midline of the body. Of it also it has that enlarged uh, urogenital area. area. This is a bifida. It's not Sorry a for the idea. This one of the rotator adjustments. Got a toe hold. I don't know what the piece of the camera. I don't see the big flap. No, I do see the big flap. Well, there's a large flap on the upper part of the uh, gill cover. Yeah, that's that's characteristic for the penis diplocanthopoma, which we've seen on other guys. But this one has a different color pattern. So it looks like a uh, diplocanthopoma is having a really hard time with the rag and the parasites do. and all. I don't think this is a healthy fish. He swims out, that's fine. Don't follow, just let him go. Oh, there's a live cup coral for you. Oh, uh, yeah, in the background there. 